I have two things in this box from the Louis Vuitton X Yayoi Kusama collaboration. So I've already unboxed it <laughs> because I couldn't wait and I did publish the true unboxing on YouTube Shorts. If you're interested, go ahead and have a look. I've repackaged it all again so that I can do this unboxing with you guys. Hopefully you don't mind my version of the packaging. Alright, let's get into it. There you go. Woohoo! So as I said, there are two items. So there's a little item and a big one. Shall we start with the little one? All right. So it comes in this box over here. So I'll do the ribbon. There you go. Draw. And I'm gonna slide it out. And look at that dust bag. It says Louis Vuitton X Yayo Kusama. Da -da 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 -da. Here we are. So this is the pumpkin coin purse, which also doubles as a bag charm. Look at that. She's in this beautiful blue and yellow colorway. I think she is very cute. That's what she looks like from the front. That's her on the back. So that's plain Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. In terms of a zip pull, it's in the shape of a pumpkin. And on the back side, it does say Louis Vuitton X Yayoi Kusama 2023. That'll be the best I can do. <laughs> And I'll give you a closer 360. So I've looked at it close up already and the detail is just beautiful. This gold hardware is so so shiny. The stitching is all in place. I'm really happy with that. Um, in terms of how it opens. Because of how broad this pumpkin charm is, it does get stuck in the middle where the, the stalk of the pumpkin is. So I do have to rotate it sideways to get it past this point. And on the inside is this beautiful pink interior. That's the um, LV slash YK pumpkin imprinted over there. And this piece here is made in France. There it does say made in France. In terms of the gusset, so there is only a gusset on one side. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why they did that. So on to the next item, this bigger item over here. I think you can guess that there's a bag in there, but um, for those of you who are interested, these are the things that came along. I've got some of this polka dot stuffing paper, which is nice. Louis Vuitton rarely does padding, I find. And um, it's got my receipt in here. It also came with a booklet, and I think that's really pretty. Uh, the booklet's got, I guess, the different bags and some information about the collection itself. And it does come with some stickers. Let me show you. I was like, oh my gosh, stickers for me. So these are some pumpkin stickers over here. And then here is um, some of the infinity dots. Don't know if I'll use them. Not sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love the pretty pictures, to be honest. And then I also got a uh, red paper bag with the infinity dots. Very nice. My essay should have given me two. Oops. There she goes. The inside of the paper bag, which has infinity dots as well. I did ask my essay for um, some perfume samples, but they were saying that with DHL, our courier, they don't do liquids. Yeah, anyway, so she couldn't give me any. All right, so here is the bag. Any guesses, put them in the description box if you do have any guesses. Da -da -da. <laughs> All right, take out the wrapping paper. And again, the dust bag with the Louis Vuitton X Yayo Kusama pumpkin on the front. <laughs> there she is. This is the Speedy 20 with the pumpkins. So that's her on one side. So I would call her the front side because this is where the monogram canvas is upright. And on this side we have the uh, the red, yellow and orange pumpkin. And on the other side we have the, the blue, purple and turquoise pumpkin. Oh. Oh. I was so smitten when I saw her. I think she's so cute. Oh my gosh. You know I'm a big fan of Boston bags. Anyway, I'll give you some close-ups first before we talk more. All right, so I'm going to come closer. So this is just a silk screen. So when you sit them down, you just see that bit of the pumpkin, but it does um, go onto the underside of the bag a little bit, and it spills over a little bit onto either side of the bag. So if you look at the bag side on, you see a couple of pumpkins over there. 
and this uh, tab, this chap over here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris. This piece is made in France. Yeah, made in France. And then on this side, here's a close up of the pumpkins. I really liked these pumpkins on this side. And uh, when I first saw the pictures of this bag, I thought that they only came with the blue pumpkins or the orange pumpkins. And I was very pleased to learn that uh, they were double sided. And that's the other side of the bag. So you can see a bit of pumpkin over there. Um, this hardware is so shiny. So it's shiny gold hardware. And I have never seen a Speedy 20 in real life, but this one you can put a padlock through. This one is Vaquetta leather. And the zips are really smooth. It comes with a detachable adjustable shoulder strap. The strap has one, two, three, four, five length settings. It does have a strap keeper at the end. I'll show you some watch shots later on. And that's what it looks like on the inside. My essay did show me some pictures and she was more excited about it than I am. This is a canvas lining, um, so fabric. And I know lots of people have been excited about it, but I feel a bit neutral. You know, I don't really care for it. I don't care what colour it might be. But yeah, lots of people seem to like this lining. And there's the Yayoi Kusama um, pumpkin over there. And there's one slip pocket on that side. This is a Speedy 20, so the zipper pulls do come down the side a little bit rather than it terminating just there. So it does open up quite nicely, which is what I like. On the inside, there was the product code. And then it did come with this lock as well. So this little tiny dust bag. That's Yayo Kusama slash Louis Vuitton. And the dust bag is interesting. I'll show you. So this is the lock right here. Beautiful, shiny gold hardware. Just stunning. This one says Louis Vuitton Paris. And the LV logo on that side. And it is a true lock. So it comes with a couple of keys. And what they've done is... This tiny dust bag actually has a slip pocket so that the keys can be stored separately from the lock so that they don't scratch each other, which is nice. It comes with a couple of keys. This is a functional lock. Voila! And there you go. So that's what it would look like all put together. In terms of quality issues with this bag, it all looks in check it all looks good and i was also reassured by my essay with the quality control on this collaboration it's going to be really high because um lv is holding this collab in really high regard so they're going to make sure that all the items in this collab is going to be finished really well that's according to my essay anyway but i've had a look through this bag I did ask my essay to send me some pictures before she even sent them and I did specifically say to my essay that I want pictures that will allow me to look at alignment and I will say that you know the alignment is fine all the motifs line up really straight at the top. One thing I did notice that I feel is a little bit of wear and tear but it can't be avoided is that on these handles there are these little marks or dents already. Let's see if I can get it to focus can you see it right there. One over there and one over there and they are from the handles resting on these rivets right here and it is symmetrical so it's on both sides as well so on the blue side if you look at these there's a mark over there and also a mark over there so I'm not sure that this could have been avoided yeah I'm pretty sure that with every bag you're kind of gonna get that from my point of view I guess now that I've seen it I know I'm gonna probably store it with the handles upright. Hmm. And if I go ahead and put the bag charm on the bag, this is what it looked like on this side. And on this side, this is what it looked like. Ooh, it looks so bougie. Leave me a comment, which side do you prefer it on? This side where it's got the exact matching pumpkin over here? Or uh, this side? Mm. Or maybe on the sides, just like here? Cute. Before we go any further, if you're new to my channel, I want to say hi. My name is Danny, and I love talking about handbags. I love doing handbag reviews. I love luxury chit chat. I love talking about contemporary brands as well as just other beautiful leather or non leather handbags. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you'll be informed every time I upload a video. But if you're not new to my channel, you'll know that I 
claim that I'm at Purse Peace and technically I'm supposed to be on Ban Island. In fact, I've actually filmed a video which I am in the process of editing and that video will go up next week. But in that video, I talk about, you know, what's next after Purse Peace and I probably wouldn't be so subject to FOMO anymore and so on and so forth. In that video, I'll be talking about what is my price range for buying handbags. Uh, this certainly exceeds that. <laughs> But you will also hear me talk about how if the item is really special, I will allow myself to purchase it. And this collaboration, it was being promoted sort of end of 2022, early 2023. And when I was watching all these videos about this Yayoi Kusama collaboration with Louis Vuitton, I honestly felt like, okay, this is one collection that I feel I, I couldn't miss. Yeah, I just, I just couldn't. My heart just wanted it. And the heart always wants what the heart wants. And it's really hard for me to escape my heart sometimes. My goal was to get something collectible because I feel like this is a collectible collection. The artist, Yayo Kusama is 93 and people talk about this is probably going to be her last collaboration with Louis Vuitton. And this is probably why Louis Vuitton has come up with so many items in this collaboration. So from the first drop, I did consider a few items. Um, I was definitely looking at the mini pochette. If you follow my channel, you know I love mini pochettes. And my essay did actually have a mini pochette in her store. So she's based in Sydney, but I'm in Adelaide. So she did send me some footage of it. I almost pulled the trigger, but she said to me, look, if you're honestly looking for a collectible, go for something that's got a pumpkin on it. Um, and go for the yellow pumpkin, especially because that's meant to be iconic for Yayoi Kusama. There were a few other items that I was interested in as well, especially the, um, I think it was called the Pochette Voyage, the, the white one with the blue flower. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And I love white. I love white. White with blue, oh my gosh, just takes my breath away. But because I intend for this to be one of the collectibles in my item and I want it to be in my collection for a long, long time, potentially even passing it down to my daughter, my concern with the white on point leather was I was worried that some sort of dye would leak out onto that white on point leather like what's happened with the white Murakami bags. That would seriously just piss me off. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was why I avoided the white on point leather. Now to think about it, now that this has a purple interior, I really hope it's not going to leak out onto this vaquetta because that would really piss me off. <laughs> Yeah, so for that reason, I, I skipped the first collection, especially because it felt like there was a degree of abundance in stock. It felt like everything didn't necessarily sell out really quickly. I managed to exercise some self-control and I said, just wait, just wait. So the second collection came, obviously there were all these leaks on, on the internet and my essay did send me some early photos of the second drop. There was a picture of the Speedy 20 with these pumpkins and then one of these pumpkins as well. And I did not realize that they were the same bag. So I did say to her, look, I'm interested in this pumpkin coin purse because I took my essay's advice to go for a yellow pumpkin. I mean, the other yellow pumpkin in the collection, I was not going to pay for and I don't think I was going to be offered to buy that bag anyway. I believe that that pumpkin is made in very limited quantities and is offered to the VIPs of Louis Vuitton, which I'm not. Uh, <laughs> so obviously there were a number of bags that had these pumpkins on it and I decided to go for the Speedy 20. And these two purchases really go against the grain for me. Um, I did ask her whether this was a silk screen and it was. Usually I don't go for silk screens because I'm always concerned that they will chip off and they don't last very long. <laughs> and I also was not going to buy Viketa, but here we are. <laughs> My Speedy 20 with Viketa and silk screen. <laughs> but you know, the hot ones what the hot ones. But there's Viketa. We weren't going to buy Viketa. And there's silk screen too. It's just going to chip off. I don't care. Oh, I just can't take this. I'm going. Off you go. As I said, the hot ones but the hot ones, I can't escape that. It's nothing I can do. In any case, this is going to be my collector's piece. I intend to keep it for a long time. I intend to also use it very, very gently and very sparingly. I do love the Boston Bag silhouettes and one of the reasons I went for the Speedy was because it's the Boston Bag silhouette. I felt like if I went for any other bags, I would probably be too tempted to use it. Now, I have a couple of Boston Bags already. I have my Fendi Pequin Boston Bag here. This is the vintage one and my Gucci Mini Boston Bag over here from the Blooms range. In terms of size, this is an in-between. This is the Speed 20 against the Gucci Mini Boston Bag. 
and this is the Speedy 20 against the Fendi Pequin Boston bag. So the Fendi Pequin Boston bag is just that little bit longer, just a little bit taller. So since I have two other Boston bags, I know that I'm not going to be so tempted to grab this one all the time to go and use it. But when I opened it, I thought she was so, so, so adorable. So because my brain could not out-argue my heart, the only thing that I could do with regards to this collection was to prepare for it. So yeah, I guess I've been saving since the start of the year or the end of last year. Mm. <laughs> My only concern at the moment is that I'm going to like items from the third drop as well which I understand is coming out in August this year. <sighs> so yeah, I, I think I'm just going to have to be good again just in case there's something from that drop that I want. So I usually finish my videos by doing mod shots with the bag but before I do that I want to address something that's on a more serious note. This collaboration between Louis Vuitton and Yayo Kusama has been very controversial. Some people don't like the collection because they don't like the aesthetics um, and that's fine because you know I've said before on my channel in this video over here that aesthetics uh, to me as well is very important so I, I can totally understand that but there are some people who are boycotting this collection because um, there are claims that Yayo Kusama is a racist and you know we shouldn't be supporting racist people. I certainly don't condone that. However Yayo Kusama has significant mental health illness she lives in a mental health institution at the age of 93 um, and I'm not saying that I know every aspect of her mental health illness because obviously that's medically confidential but there's some details of it on the internet and based on what I have read she is really unwell. Mental health illness hits very close to home for me like serious mental health illness so I have a lot of empathy for people with mental health illness and I also understand that Yayo Kusama experienced a lot of trauma as a child and I have a lot of sympathy for that. Um, yeah, children are innocent and they're very vulnerable as well so yeah, I, I, I feel very sorry for her in that regard. She's also 93 and I do have soft spots for elderly people. And I watched this video of Autumn Beckman's and she did talk about how for those of us who want to buy things from this collection we will come up with our own excuses and for those of us who don't want to buy from this collection will state their own reasons as well. I just wanted to put that out there because I feel like it could be an elephant in the room for those of us who goes ahead and purchase from this collection. Right now I'm going to overlay some mod shots and for reference my height is 5 foot or 152 centimeters and I've adjusted the strap length to the shortest setting. Leave me a comment have you bought anything from this collection too? Or are you tempted? If you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe as well to come back for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye! -bye.